Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss different encoding techniques such as binary, value, permutation and tree encoding techniques in genetic algorithm with the help of a simple solved example. In the previous video, I have already discussed what is genetic algorithm, what are the different steps in genetic algorithm. Also, I have solved many examples on genetic algorithm. Link for those videos is given in the description below. First, we will understand what is encoding technique in genetic algorithm. Encoding technique is the first stage of genetic algorithm where we need to encode or represent the chromosomes. Let's take an example. Let us say that we want to maximize the function f of x is equal to x raised to 3, where the value of x will be in the range of 0 to 15. So, in this case, uh, the solution for this uh, function can be anything in the range of 0 to 15. Those are known as the potential solutions or the candidate solutions. So, what we need to do is uh, before we apply the genetic algorithm, we need to represent these solutions in one of the form. So, that representation of a candidate solution is known as the encoding technique in genetic algorithm. Now, we will discuss uh, the different encoding techniques. The first encoding technique is binary encoding technique. Binary encoding technique is one of the most common method used in uh, genetic algorithm. It is useful for majority of the genetic algorithm problem definitions. In this case, uh, the chromosome is represented as a string of uh, 1 and 0. Uh, for example, uh, let's assume that there are 4 chromosomes are there uh, and each chromosome contains uh, 3 genes. They look something like this. In this case, the first gene is 1, the remaining two genes are 0 for the first chromosome. Similarly, for the second chromosome, the first and second gene are 1 and the third one is 0 and so on. Let's take uh, an example to understand how can we uh, do this binary encoding. So, in this case, uh, I want to define the initial population for the 0, 1 knapsack problem here. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, three items A, B and C. Each of these items are associated with the two things. One is uh, the weight, another one is the profit here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to select a few of these items in such a way that the maximum capacity of this container is 25 here. This is the knapsack uh, capacity here. We should not uh, cross this capacity in such a way that we need to select a few items and we should get maximum profit. These are the two things what we need to do here. Now, the question comes in front of us, how to encode these things uh, in the form of uh, a chromosomes. For that reason, what we can do is, first we will try to identify the potential solutions. In this case, the individual items can be the potential solutions because the weight of individual items is less than 25 here. The other possible solutions are uh, A and B. If I add the weight of A and B, it will become uh, 15. Again, it will be the one more candidate solution. A and C is the one more candidate solution because 5 plus 15 is again uh, 20 here which is less than 25 and uh, B and C is the another candidate solution because 10 plus 15 is equal to 25. So, these are all the candidate solutions. The question is how to encode these things in the form of uh, we can say that the chromosomes. For that reason, what we can do here is there are three items are there. For each of these items, we will consider one gene. If that particular item is selected, we will put one for that gene. If it is not selected, we will put zero. The meaning of this one is for this particular chromosome, the item A is selected, B and C are not selected because 1 is present in the first place, 0 are present in the second and third gene in this case. Similarly, for the second chromosome, A and B are selected, C is not selected in this case. The same thing for the remaining chromosomes in this case. Let us consider one more example to understand the binary encoding. In this case, uh, we want to find the initial population for this uh, function that is f of x is equal to x square by 2 plus 125 divided by x where x will go from 0 to 15 again and x will take the discrete integer. That means x can take only the uh, integer values, not the fraction numbers in this case. Again, the solution will be anything in the range of 0 to 15 here. Now, to represent uh, these chromosomes, what we can do here is we can take uh, the four binary uh, bits here. Uh, to represent 0, we can have four zeros. To represent 15, we can have four ones here. In between, we can have some different possibilities in this case. So, this is how the chromosome will look like. In the first case, the chromosome represents the uh, potential solution 5 here, that is 0, 1, 0, 1. In the second case, it will represent the potential solution 8. In the third case, it will be 10 and fourth case, it will be 13 in this case. 
The second uh, encoding technique is known as uh, value encoding. In value encoding, the gene uh, has some value rather than uh, 0 and 1, it has the value directly here. The value can be integer, real number, character or some object in this case. Uh, what we do is we will put the directly value uh, in the gene while representing the chromosome in this case. So, uh, because of this thing, uh, there is no need of encoding and decoding uh, steps in uh, genetic algorithm. Because in the previous case, we have encoded our solution in the form of binary numbers. So, at the time of uh, applying the genetic algorithm, we need to encode. At the end of the day, we need to decode those particular chromosomes here. So, such kind of things are not required in value encoding because we are putting the directly values here. We will take an example to understand uh, the value encoding uh, technique here. Again, I will be considering the same function that is f of x is equal to x square by 2 plus 125 divided by x here. The value of x will go from 0 to 15 and again x is a discrete integer in this case. Now, again the value of uh, potential solution will be in the range of uh, 0 to 15. That is the reason uh, the chromosome will contain directly values. Uh, in this case, I have created the four chromosomes. The first chromosome contain the value 5, second one 8, third one 8, 10, fourth one is 13 and so on. So, this is how we can cre create or we can encode the chromosomes in value encoded uh, uh, technique in this case. Coming back to the third encoding technique that is known as uh, permutation or order encoding technique. Permutation encoding is useful for order problems where order of processing is uh, particularly important. Let us take an example to understand the permutation or order encoding. So, in this case, I will be considering the traveling uh, salesman problem. In this case, we have been given uh, five cities over here. The constant in uh, traveling salesman problem is that salesman has to visit each and every city once and he has to start from a particular city and then he has to come back to the same city over here. So, that is what are the two constraints in this case. Now, for this particular constraint, uh, we have to uh, find or we have to encode the chromosomes in this case. Let us assume that he will start from A, he can go to D, B to C, C to B, B to E and E to A. So, this will become one uh, what you can say that a chromosome that is A, D, C, B, E, A that will be the one uh, chromosome here. The another chromosome may be the per, uh, salesman may start from A, he may go to this uh, particular B, B to C, C to D, D to E and D to uh, E to A here. That may be the another chromosome and so on. So, because in this case order is important, so that is the reason uh, this kind of encoding technique is called as permutation or order encoding technique here. Coming back to the last encoding technique that is known as uh, tree encoding technique. In this encoding scheme, a solution is encoded in the form of a binary tree here. I hope you can see here the chromosome A contains a binary tree. Similarly, chromosome B is also of the form a binary tree here. In the first case, uh, an uh, equation is uh, encoded in the form of a binary tree. In the second case, uh, we have encoded a looping construct in the form of a binary tree over here. So, this is how we can encode uh, the potential solution in the form of a binary tree over here. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, what are the different uh, encoding techniques are there in genetic algorithm. I hope uh, the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.